So on Global, we are still in like this countdown period for the Super Saiyan 4s, and Super Saiyan 4s should be coming out tomorrow in like a few hours or so. So basically, we still have another day and a few hours to go before the event actually comes out. But there was something that was announced in today's news or upon the login that is very interesting. And of course, you can tell from the title what is going to happen. And there are multiple things that can happen, I suppose. But if you aren't familiar what, um, with what is going on, to quickly show you guys and yeah hope you guys are having a great day as always bit of a late video but if you do enjoy today's video as always consider leaving a like and subscribing if you are new and i'd imagine that you guys have seen it by now here we go who will be the next lr character it's up to you to decide the next um i, I don't know why i said next the legendary uh, election will be starting soon so um technically the global side isn't supposed to know about the legendary rares on jp so does this mean that we are going to get to vote for the physical one which is the only one that is missing or do we get to vote for which one is legit next so goku black we have um ella gohan as well so it's going to be between those two or do we get to vote um to vote between a third one completely like a completely new one that we are not familiar with and like that hasn't happened before we have never got to vote for a legendary rare and i'm definitely curious to see who we have the option to vote for if we have like unlimited options that's going to be absolutely insane and i saw a few people say super saiyan 4 goji and um, gogeta or something like that but i don't think that they should make the very first super saiyan 4 gogeta an lr especially one that doesn't have the greatest rates in the world I mean, it could make him a featured unit, but I just don't see that happening, to be honest. And here's the thing. If they do allow us to vote for a brand new Legendary Rare, which would be the physical one, I don't see how they would make him featured just because of how much exposure they gave him, or they gave that particular unit. Because you take a look at the previous legend uh, Legendary Rares, and they didn't get that much exposure. The only one that got any real exposure was Broly, and that was because he was featured, so... Is he potentially going to be featured? But it does seem like this particular voting thing um, is going to be starting soon. So definitely let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Do you think that we are voting for um, LR Gohan or Goku Black and Rose or brother Rose and Zamasu? Or are we voting for a completely new one that is going to be the physical type of course and if it's like another vote for a super vegeta or something along those lines that is going to be absolutely in, like insane because of course we had um, a few images come up a few days ago regarding a new super vegeta potentially in the future and if it has something to do with legendary rare i wouldn't be opposed to it i know that the rates for that particular character wouldn't necessarily be the greatest but that's you know that's what you pay for when you play this game and the new legendary rares they are incredible units incredibly fun to use but when it comes to the unit that you could like summon for or which one you should vote for really i would honestly recommend lr black and zamasu just because he is or they are probably the funnest lr to use just because of how different they are in comparison to like lr gohan or super saiyan for goku just anyone that can basically one shot every single stage and it's not to say that lr black and zamasu can't one shot majority of the stages it just takes them a bit of time to get to that point and they they just have so much about them that it makes them different enough to the point where they are fun to use that is why a team like int was extremely fun for me to use because of how like how different it was just small changes or small differences between the characters like super attack animation super attack mechanics made a massive difference for example you have super saiyan blue vegeta he raises his own attack every time he super attacks so it's fun to play that mechanic you have rage trunks who is self-sufficient and of course can collect a ton of orbs you have ella gohan who can oh, he has that insane passive but essentially he is going to super attack every single time so that i don't know it, that's the way I see it, to be honest. Like, just little, littlest things can make the game a lot of fun, despite some units being extremely similar. And when you take a look at LR Zamas or LR Black and Zamasu, they are different enough to the point where it warrants you to actually work to get them to their best, pretty much. But yeah, um, definitely let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If it's between Gohan and um goku black and zamasu i am definitely voting for goku black and zamasu just because it would be nice to have him on global for one and he's my favorite villain or they're my favorite villains so 
um, it would be nice to uh, add them to my collection, so to speak. And if I could pull another one, that would be absolutely insane. But yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to what is coming in the future. Did not expect this to be coming up. Honestly, if we get to vote between a particular unit, I would either want it to be Future Trunks, I would want it to be like some variation of Vegito. Maybe Adina brought this up. Maybe it's a Super Vegito that can temporarily turn into Vegito Blue. They defuse and then they eventually go back into Super Vegito. Just something like that. So it would be following um, what is happening or what happened in Dragon Ball Super with you know the whole time limit thing. And that was always there. I actually, I'm not going to get into that because I know that a lot of people have different opinions on that thing. But, but if I had to pick between someone, it would definitely have to be Vegito, Future Trunks. I wouldn't be opposed to Beerus, and one of the reasons why I wouldn't be opposed to Beerus is because we could potentially see a new god, um, or just, you know, rebirths or awakenings for the old gods Gokus. I wouldn't mind a Super Saiyan god Goku, um, LR. It just can't be a villain and, villain, and one of the reasons why I say that is because we have three extreme LRs already. So, we kind of need another hero. Gohan is currently the only one I definitely think is going to be a hero. And the fact that it's coming along with the Super Saiyan Force as well is just crazy. So I'm definitely looking forward to seeing when this actually comes out. And um, it should be coming out later than normally, actually. Because normally, the um, banners drop at, like, 1 PDT um, on a day, like in the morning. Depending where you are, of course. So it basically comes out extremely early in the morning if you're, like, in America. Whereas in the UK, it will come out in the morning as well, but at a more reasonable time at like 7pm, 8pm. But now, they are actually coming out later at 8pm my time, which should be at like 1pm uh, for some people in the US, of course. So yeah, when it comes to the release time of the Super Saiyan 4s, it's coming out later than normal, but this is what they did with Rose and Vegito Blue as well. So I don't know if this is going to be like a consistent thing. For Doken Fest or just bigger events, so I imagine that the next time something like this happens, or the next time they release something at this particular time, it's going to be during Gogeta or Janemba. But yeah, uh, I think I've pretty much covered everything. I've rambled on long enough, and of course, we are getting the legendary election will be starting soon. So I'm guessing this is going to be for the physical type, but, or maybe we should get to pick the order or in which they come in. So maybe we get to pick LR Gohan or you know. So Black, El Gohan, and then someone else, or maybe we want the new one first. But yeah, as always, I hope you guys did enjoy the video, and if you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. I hope you guys have a great day, and let me know in the comment section down below who you are going to vote for, or who you would like to be in that particular voting thing. And uh, yeah, hope you guys have a great day as always, and I will see you all in the next one.